My first question is why vote? Is is it still important or I think so. I think there are some close elections, especially about the bond for the new high school. I think that's m the most important one in Vermont. So uh, I think that's, as I was coming to the voting place today, I was like, yeah, really got to cast my vote for the school book, for the new school. On to the ballot. Um, do you have any opinions about um, the new amendments, the Vermont State Constitution, Prop 2 or Prop 5? You know, um, I kind of voted in line with my party, and, and to be honest, I found them a little confusing. I was a little ambivalent about them, so I did vote for them, but I wasn't feeling super strong either way, or a little, a little conflicted, I think. Uh, and how will this election um, change redistricting? Like, I don't know about like that, like redistricting within the within the city um yeah just like where you're voting or like redistricting within the house and the senate right now um but like that one not a lot of people will know about is there any I don't that stuck out to you or uh well i'm excited about becca ballant at possibly being our new member of congress i like what she has to say so uh but i really don't know about the redistricting well, I'm from Essex. I don't really know either. <laughs> yeah. What What do you know about the redistricting? If I can go off script um, here for so a minute. So basically, the House and the Senate are redistricting and finding like how many seats or how many counties need which how many seats. And oh yeah. And that kind of stuff. And yeah. So, like, pretty much it threw it all over the place, and so a lot of people have ended up with new representatives. So it's just like oh yeah. Yeah. No, I actually don't know who my new representatives might be. I haven't really paid attention to that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with us. And sure. uh, if you want to catch this interview, you can yeah. check at like Levin or CCTV. Yeah. Um, I think it just like this. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice thank day. <laughs> well, to start out, um, why, why do you think voting is important or is it unimportant? It's important. It's the only way we have a say in the people who are making the uh, laws in our country and city and state. What are your opinions on um, the new plan for the high school bond? Uh, I voted for it. We, we need a high school. Uh, what kind of a community would we be if we didn't have a high school for the children of our uh, community? And um, were there any candidates that stuck out to you? Um, I liked Becca Balint. Um I like Sarah George. Uh, she was running out of pose today, but I liked her in the primary. So those are those are two candidates that stuck out to me. Oh. Well, thank you so much. And uh, if you want to catch this interview, you can uh, check it tonight at uh, CCTV. Ah, it's clips. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Good morning. We are in Ward 4, interviewing people about the current Vermont and U.S. election. We're talking to them about why voting matters. We're talking to them about... <laughs> hey, do you want to be interviewed for like a minute? <laughs> no. What are you doing this for? A CCTV. Nice. What are you asking people? I'm asking... Okay, I'll try. Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be easy. Alrighty. Why, in your opinion, does voting matter or not matter? Boy, that's a tough one right now. Voting totally matters. Mm -hmm. Why? I think right now we have so many questions about what's going to happen with us politically, around women's rights, around money stuff. That I'm, I'm scared shitless. But if you ask my husband right now, he would say he didn't, he could care less. But you know why? Because he's about to die, and he says you're gonna be the one who has to live with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> if you want, don't pick up on that one, do you? <laughs> <laughs> what are your opinions on the new Burlington High School? I don't think I should say that in public. <laughs> and. Uh, any of the new amendment proposals? What are the amendment proposals? Oh, yeah, the ones about the language. Well, the one, I, I think the one about um, uh, guaranteeing reproductive rights is really important. 
And uh, were there any um, candidates that stuck out to you? This no. Peter Class. Sweet. That's it. <laughs> well, it was no- lovely to talk to you. <laughs> Have a nice day. I'm sorry, I'm just going to <laughs> Ready? Hit it. Good morning. Today we are in Ward 4 and we are talking to Vermont voters about the new election because it's election day. Hey, do you want to do a quick one minute interview about voting? Oh, great. So my first question for you is why does voting matter? Uh because it's the only way we let our government know what's important to us. And um, what are your thoughts on the new high school? Oh, we definitely need a new high school. Definitely voted yes. So. <laughs> and uh, were there any candidates that stuck out to you this year? Um, nope, nope. I was pretty happy with the swath of candidates I had to vote for. So happy well. that Peter Welch will most likely be our next senator. So that's good. Well, it was lovely to talk to you. Thank you. You're very welcome. And if you want to catch this interview, you can oh. find it on CCTV tonight. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. First question for you is, why do you think voting matters? Uh, to get the voice out, to have the community come together and, and make decisions. Oh, awesome. And um, what are your thoughts on the new proposed amendments to the Vermont State Constitution, Prop 2 or in Prop 5? Uh, unfortunately, I was not prepared for them. I read them, and I, I think I made a, a, a thoughtful choice that they be amended. Oh, that's, that's interesting. And um, what are your thoughts on the new wastewater or the new plan to create a new wastewater facility? I have to say I don't think I was educated enough on it. need to work on that for next time. <laughs> and the prop preposition to create a new high school, not preposition, proposition. Yes, that one holds dear. I got two middle school students, and I would like to see a high school built, so anything it takes. <laughs> and um, what are your, were there any candidates this year that stuck out to you? Um, Becca Ballant, uh, Peter Welch I'm a fan of. Um, I think for governor, it's a little tricky. Um, it seems like a complicated one for me. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking, and if you want to catch this interview, it'll be on tonight at CCTV. Oh, boy. Okay, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for answering all the questions. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Um, so, why does voting matter? Holy smokes. Uh, so much rides on our democracy. Um, there is such an effort right now across the whole country to take away rights from so many different groups of people, and voting is the largest and most important uh, act that we as citizens have, um, or one of them anyways, um, and so it's important to do it. And uh, what are your opinions on the new amendment proposals, Prop 2 and Prop 5? Uh, I support them. Is there any reason you support them? Or? Um, so, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, if we as a society want to say and believe that we are opposed to all forms of racial discrimination, then it's critical that the laws that we have in our country say that. Um, And so eliminating uh, slavery explicitly from the Constitution is a critical step. And if we say that we really do believe in equal rights for men and women, then it's critical that um, we make sure that those equal rights are embodied in the actual laws of, of the state. And so it's critical that, um, that, uh, women have the same reproductive or the same, uh, health rights, um, over their own lives that men would have over their own lives and that, um, and that women be able to make reproductive choices for themselves and, uh, health choices for themselves. And new thoughts on the new high school? Build it, <laughs> please. <laughs> we need a high school. It's critical. I mean, like, it's crazy to think that we might not have a high school because some people would vote no on a ballot measure. Um, the one that exists now uh, has poisons in the air, and uh, our students are going to 
an old rundown mall and that's just not acceptable we need a high school i think we as a community should pony up and do what vermonters do well which is coming together as a community and supporting our own and um the new proposition to do a new wastewater facility uh i mean i'm generally in support of uh managing our waste well we should always try to have as little waste as possible and the waste we do have we should manage from you know a, uh, a good conservation perspective and finally were there any candidates that st uh, stuck out to you this year um any candidates that stuck out to me this year becca ballon yeah let's go becca mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for talking with me and uh if you want to catch this interview it'll be on tonight at cctv cool um, and yeah, it was lovely to talk with you. Thank yeah, you so much. Take care. Take care. <laughs> All right, Vermont. Now we are heading to Ward 7 to do more interviews on uh, the new Vermont election. Let's go. there. Hello, we are now in Ward 7 and we are interviewing local Vermonters about the current Vermont election. <laughs> Let's go. All right, question for you is why do you think voting matters? Wow, I never thought about it. It's so obvious to me. <laughs> It matters because I can have a voice and I can actually participate in what we do and what's important to me. And yeah, you can't do without it. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on some of the new things on the ballot, um, Prop 2 and Prop 5? I can't remember the numbers. I know what they are. Can you remind me? So Prop <laughs> 2 <laughs> Prop 2 is um, abolishing uh, indentured servitude along with slavery in the Vermont Constitution. And then Prop 5 is banning the government from having control over people's Pre reproductive autonomy. Freedom. Yes. Um, well, I'm going to say I voted yes to both. Um, the first one is obvious. We should make it clear that slavery is unacceptable, and yet it still exists. And the second one... Well, to me also is a given. I mean, we should have a choice as women to do what we need to do. It's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, there are some other uh, propositions um, for like the new high school. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm all for it. My kid is in middle school and <laughs> he needs to go somewhere. So we need a new high school. So yes, mm -hmm. I'm all for it. And um, your thoughts on this one was a bit under uh, talked about, but um, the new wastewater facility? Uh, that's really important. That's something that's not sexy. We don't talk about that kind of thing, but we need it. Uh, and especially because we have more and more people in this area. We are not equipped right now to really, we don't have the capacity to deal with waste. And so we need to invest more in that to have a good quality of life here. Finally, um, were there any candidates that stuck out to you this year? No. <laughs> Honestly, I went to see the debate, the go uh, you know governor's debate uh, that was done by Vermont Digger, and I was not very inspired, honestly, either way. So, no. <laughs> well, it was really nice to talk to you, and yeah. Oh, and if you want to see this interview, it'll be on Town Meeting TV. Oh, okay. But thank you so much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Early cold. <laughs> but um, our first question for you is, why do you think voting matters? Oh, because, uh, you know, you got to just 
use the tools that are available to get the change that you want mm -hmm. done. Yeah. And um, what are your thoughts on some of the new uh, proposals, specific, specifically uh, Prop 2 and Prop 5? Um, sorry, could you remind me which ones those were? So Prop 2 was um, to abolish indentured servitude uh, along yeah. with slavery. I mean, about time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the other one was? And the other one was banning uh, the government from, like, uh, controlling reproductive on top. Uh, no, it was prop. Oh wait, was no, it was prop five. Oh, my bad. Okay. Prop five article. Yeah, I'm totally yeah. in favor of that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then uh, there's other things such as um, the new high school. Um. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's what brought me out today to vote was for the new high school. Yeah, in favor. <laughs> and then uh, the new wastewater facility. Yep, voted for that as well. Yep. Why do you think we need a new high school? Uh, cause they're going to school in the Macy's. This just there's not enough room. There's no windows. There's no outdoor space. There's no cafeteria. There's no gym. It's just not adequate. And if we wait and just like fail to pass this, it's just gonna be, get more expensive. Mm -hmm. So it's there's it's a lose lose for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And finally, um, were there any candidates this year that stuck out to you? Um, not really. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it wasn't really about the, the other races for me. They don't seem to be in high contention. Um, so, yeah, it's more about the ballot issues. Well, thank you so much yeah. for talking with us, oh and I God. hope you have a nice day. If you want to catch this interview, uh, it'll be on CCTV tonight. Nice, but, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should give one to Miles, too. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Miles will be in the studio. Are you watch tonight? Uh, yeah. Are you going to be at the studio? You're more than welcome. Wait, really? You don't? Yeah, you're welcome to be there. I can't help you with anything, though. No. That's I'm sick. I would love to go. To I'll, I'll, yeah. You know what, when we get back to the studio, I'll ask if you can just sit there and watch or something, but I that would be, be able to, I would kill for I'm that. Gonna, I I'm love this place. Disclosure, so I'm not going to have time to pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, no, no, that's totally, <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> so all I ask is that you just don't get in the way, but you're welcome yeah. to sit and watch. I would like. love that so much. Yeah, because it sounds like an insanely interesting, stressful uh, process that I would love to be a witness to. Maybe I'll make Just a bad screenplay out of it. And getting clips uh -huh. <laughs> for our live stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tonight uh, tonight I'm going to like the Democratic Party oh, yeah. with my cousin. Yeah, you'll see you'll see members but. of Coming TV there. Oh sweet. Yeah. I can <laughs> I can do some adultery with like <laughs> double agenting. I mean you can go get interviewed. Yes. I would kill for that. See? Well, that's Navarro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My intern. Beautiful but boy. I won't be watching that live stream. I'm watching the Republican live stream. Oh, that'll be interesting, yeah. And someone's going to be doing Zoom interviews with uh, them. Uh, interesting. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's... This is why, especially in Vermont, because, like, the... In the pretentious Navarro terms, the mix of like the intimate and like the <laughs> abstract, beautiful. Ooh, who is this nice young gentleman? <laughs> Would you be like to be interviewed an interview. for a minute for a school project? It's, you, it's, uh, it's for a school project. Oh wait, that person might be interviewed. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's wait for our pal Travis. Oh, we're already recording. <laughs> so, um, why do you think voting matters? I think voting matters um, because in in for the f let me start that over. Voting matters to me because I I think um, it gives uh, an opportunity for people to have a seat at the table 
uh, and kind of drive the needle a little bit. Uh, and I think um, the more people vote, the more we have uh, information from uh, folks of all different walks of life to kind of uh, uh, hopefully make the best decisions that we can for the, for the public good. Um, and then second, do you have any uh, thoughts on some of the new proposals, such as Prop 2 or Prop 5? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm very much a yes person, so um, I think it's, it's easy to say yes as somebody who's, you know, just in their 40s and, and wants to see, you know, think for future generations, um, you know, specifically with a high school, and it seems like, um, so yeah, I, you know, I, I think it's an easy yes. For all of them? Or? I mean, yeah, I, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes and for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, I want to ask you about, um, did any candidates stick out to you this year? Uh, yeah, Infinite. Uh, I've known Infinite Cool Pleasure for a long time. Uh, it's good to see a after kind of a, a Merrill run, um, to see Infinite in the race um, and been able to chat with him. Um, and then, sadly, like a lot of people, it's, it's really hard to... I, and I hate to say that because it's it's my civic duty to, to look into this, but it's, I think it's really hard to pay attention to everyone and um, make sure that you're well informed. Um, so it's very easy to vote party lines, yeah. um, but it's an interesting mix here in Burlington to decide, you know, um, between Dems and progressives. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'll pause there. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with you. Oh, Navarro, what a guy! What a guy! <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> yeah. All righty. So my first question for you is, uh, why do you think voting matters? It's your opportunity to participate in how you're going to live and tell others how you want to live. If you're not going to, it's important. And then for ballot questions, um, what are your thoughts on some of the new amendment propositions? Prop 2, um, abolishing indentured servitude in Vermont. Prop 5, not allowing the government to control reproductive autonomy. Uh, Prop 2, I got mixed feelings about it. and definitely against slavery and any part of it. Uh, Prop 5... I think uh, it's, a, it's a regulation where our legislatures aren't doing their job. Uh, it it kind of spins around and continuously goes back to the courts to decide. And then in the end, it's in the best interest of the state. So if the courts can't decide, the state gets to decide still. So is it really keeping the government out of our personal decisions? So I think it needs more work. And then, another things we have the new high school. What do you think? What are your thoughts on that? The Burlington High School? Yeah, of creating a new one. I think it's um, I think it's a perfect opportunity for Burlington to show the rest of the state in the world and lead a, their battle against climate change. I think the building they designed has got a lot of heat loss. It's challenging the renewable energy because of the high volume of capacity in big areas and the heat loss from the glass. And I think it's gonna have a huge amount of energy expenses that were, is a big problem for the future. Not just as citizens, but as a country, we have energy issues and I think they could have done a better job to design a more efficient building. All the experts say if renewables are gonna work, we have to build the most efficient buildings that we can. That's my belief. And then, the la and then we have the new wastewater facility for Burlington. I agree with that improvement completely. It's a necessity in Vermont. We don't have a lot of options. So the more efficient we are and the more we can save, the better we are. And then finally, um, were there any candidates that stuck out to you this year? Erica Reddick. And, uh, you know, Deploy Malloy, he stood out, new person. And there's a couple other new candidates that have stood out. I can pronounce their name very well, but 
Erica Reddick, I've been with her and volunteering for her, and uh, she's an excellent person, human being, and she'd serve all of her monitors very well. Well, thank you so much for talking with me, and it was lovely to talk with you. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Navarro. Navarro, nice to meet you. My nice to meet you. <laughs> that was an excellent interview. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. You did a great job. Uh -huh. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Why do you think voting matters? Oh, that's a tough question, man. Um, in theory, it guides our community to what we desire for legislation, in, in theory. But in practice? I hope it does. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. This day and age, there's not much trust. Not that there's not trust in the process, but that, I don't know, it just seems like money rules everything. And no matter who you vote for, you'll, you know, get whatever money pays for. Well, on to the ballot. Um, there are some interesting things on there this year. Um, Prop 2 and Prop 5, amendments to the Constitution of Vermont. What are your thoughts on those? Is two uh, abortion rights? Two is slavery. slavery. Yeah. Uh, definitely think we should write slavery out of the Constitution. <laughs> definitely think we should vote for uh, women's reproductive rights, and it's their choice between them and their doctor. Uh, vote yes on those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then um, the the plan to create a new high school. I love education. We should definitely, the kids need a place to learn. I've got a one-year-old. He's going to need a place to learn. So vote yes for the school. And um, the wastewater, the new wastewater facility in Burlington. I didn't get that, uh, I didn't request that extra absentee ballot. I was just reading that that was an extra one, so I didn't even look into it. Not even sure. But I wish I did, because I wish uh, Lake Champlain would be a little bit better taken care of. Uh, so, my bad on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, uh, were there any candidates that stuck out to you this year? Oh, it's tough to keep up with them all. I'm really just looking at the independent, Democrat, and Republican mix, and voting that way <laughs> yep well it was very nice to talk to you if you want to catch this interview it'll be on town meeting tv awesome. and yeah i hope you have a nice day <laughs> good luck biking home <laughs>
Oh, there's a lot that's struck out. No. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I think it's Vermont, so there's some degree where this got decided in the primaries. <laughs> um, but, you know, happy to vote for Peter Welch. I think he's been doing a great job, so hope he's going to continue that in the Senate. Well, it was lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much. Yeah. If you want to see this interview, it'll be on CCTV tonight. All right, thank you. But, yeah, thank you. All righty. My first question for you is why do you think voting matters? I think voting matters um, because um, we live in a democracy and so for our democracy to function properly we need the people to be choosing who's in office to best represent ourselves um, and I think voting is especially important in local elections as they're going to make really um, impactful decisions on our day-to-day -day lives um, so like whether or not we have a new high school our taxes things like that um, so important Voting, I think, is really important both locally and nationally, just so our democracy functions properly. And um, what are your thoughts on some of the things on the ballot, such as Prop 2 or Prop 5? Yeah, so I'm very excited um, that the Reproductive Liberties Amendment is on the ballot, and I'm very optimistic that it's going to pass. Um, and I'm also very excited that Vermont will hopefully finally be um, ending slavery. And then what are your thoughts on the new high school? Yeah, so I'm definitely um, pro the new high school. Um, I think it will be really important for the city of Burlington. Um, so I also hope that passes as well. I know people um, don't like uh, tax money going to the new high school, but I really hope it passes today. And the new wastewater facility? Yeah, I'm also um, pro the new wastewater facility as well. Um, I think uh, the new infrastructure will definitely be helpful. Oh, great. And finally, um, were there any candidates that stuck out to you this year? Yeah, so um, I really like um, Tanya and Kate running um, for the state house and state senate positions, um, as well as Brenda Siegel. All righty. Well, it was great talking to you. If you want to catch this interview, it'll be at CCTV uh, tonight. <laughs> And yeah, thank you so much. Thank Have a so nice much. day. <laughs> right now, we are at Ward 2, talking to Vermont voters about the current Vermont election. Let's go. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Alrighty. Why do you think voting matters? Well, it's the uh, only way that we can actually engage the political system um, that we have in this country other than direct action and it yeah it's 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 an incredibly powerful thing yeah. do you have any thoughts on some of the things on the ballot such as prop 2 or prop 5 well I like the prop 2 um, because it's it's non-specific to gender um, and especially with Vermont's history of eugenics um, it's, it's good to know that the protections are not just for the, the women, but also for the men. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, uh, that, that was actually Prop 5, sorry. Oh, sorry. And then Prop, prop 2, prop is, two is, uh, is slavery. Oh, the slavery? Um, I can understand why it needs to be updated for the time. Um, I just hope that the original text doesn't get lost because understanding the context in which it was written is very important. Um, like why those things are there. And I'm actually interested to see how the uh, prohibition against endangered servitude gets played out in the courts. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then... Because I think an argument can be made with a lot of the, 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 the debt that people carry that they're indentured to someone for servitude for some sort of money. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, the um, new high school. Any thoughts on that? We need a school. <laughs> That's just it. We need a school. And um, the new wastewater facility. Oh, it's it, time is, is way past for that to happen. Um, I haven't looked at the plans myself directly, but um, it needs to be done. You know, the combination of the, the runoff and the, the wastewater, it needs to be separated to better facilitate the, uh, the, the maintenance of the, the lake. And finally, uh, were there any candidates this year that stuck out to you? Um, I was really excited to see uh, David Zuckerman back on the ballot again, so that was a big one. And infinite closure for, for this, this place. So those are two people I'm glad to, to see them up in, in the world doing their things.
Well, it was really nice to talk to you, and thank you so much. You're uh, if you want to catch this interview, it'll be at CCTV oh, nice. uh, later tonight. <laughs> Have it? Go. Let's go. All right. So my first question for you is a classic one. Why do you think voting matters? Um, it's a great way to show your choices as a citizen of the, you know, of the town, of the country, and I think that, you know, it's worth uh, putting your voice in there. And then my other questions are more ballot related. What are your thoughts on Prop 2, the amendment to abolish indentured servitude? Um, I'm in, totally in favor. Um, I think everybody should be able to, you know, live freely and not be required to work um, for, you know, not any compensation. And I think it's pretty reprehensible. And then uh, Prop 5, of course. I am very pro reproductive liberty um, and voted yes on that as well. Um, it's a super important uh, ballot measure for maintaining everybody's individual rights. Then. Uh, uh, thoughts on the new high school? Uh, very pro new high school. I think it's super important to continue to support public education um, and you know not having any public education facilities is something that absolutely impacts that and impacts everyone in the town not just people with kids um, and so I am yeah no I think everybody should uh, you know get out there and do the right thing. And then um, thoughts on new wastewater facility? Um, I think maintaining any public facilities is super important and without our support it doesn't get done um, and we're the ones who suffer for that so then finally my last question is any candidates that stuck out to you not in particular that I want to talk about no thank you <laughs> well it was very nice to talk with yeah, you and I hope you have a nice day you as well. thank you I voted for um, a guaranteed annual income or universal basic income. <laughs> uh, Voting's important, yeah. We should, we really should. Be, it's um, a lot of countries don't have. We should definitely vote. It's what our <laughs> military protects in a way. <laughs> uh, any thoughts on Prop Two uh, abolishing indentured servitude and Prop Five? Oh, yeah. Slavery should definitely not be legal, even though it was. It was written in books a long time ago, but we've learned. But um, abortion, as long as that baby hasn't taken its first breath, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I think we got enough people. Um, this one person with the bike. So, why do you think voting is important? Why do I think voting is important? Um, oh God, that's a hard question. One, I think it's fun. Uh, I think it's good to, to, to know about the people that are, or they're running for the, um, the um, different offices. And uh, I like voting. That's good. I... Uh, what are your thoughts on some of the propos propositions, um, the propositions like uh, Amendment Proposition Two, uh, banning indentured servitude in the Vermont Constitution? I am definitely for abandoning it. Um, I think when Abraham Lincoln came along and did the proclamation, he did a good thing, and I think we got to carry on Abraham Lincoln's work. And the uh, Reproductive Liberty Amendment, uh, Proposition Five. I think that's also yes, because it's not my body, but I want to make sure that the other people who have a say up about their own bodies. And then, um, thoughts on the new high school? Definitely build the high school. It's very important. It's going to bring a lot of jobs. It's going to bring a lot of teachers. It's going to bring a lot of everything to to our uh, our land in Burlington. Um, and then, finally, um, any candidates that stuck out to you this year? I am a David Zuckerman fan. I voted for him. Um, I'm not sure who I voted for the um, the um, governor, but I'm a David Zuckerman fan. All right.
Yeah. Well, it was very nice talking with you. Thank you so much. If you want to catch this interview, it'll be on uh, tonight at Town Meeting TV. Oh my God, I don't know if I can be that famous. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it was really nice to talk to you. Thanks. Good luck riding home. We are now at Ward 3, talking to Vermont voters about the issues facing them on the ballot today during the Vermont election. Let's go. Easy questions. Yes. So first up, oldie but a goodie, uh, why do you think voting matters? That's You are talking to a person who has a strong feeling about voting. I think when you're faced with um, a situation of a dictatorship versus uh, elections, that's one thing, and definitely voting matters. But in the greater scheme of things, there's something called sortition. And look it up. The the Burlington um, Burlington is a uh, has sortition um, a little bit in its DNA. There's some people who are experts at this. One being Terry Baricious, and what it is is people get picked by lottery to be able to participate in government, and it's the way democracy was originally done in ancient Athens. You wouldn't imagine it, but there were no elections in ancient Athens. There was something called tertition where people were picked by lottery and the government went, ran well because there wasn't money involved, there wasn't special interests involved. So we're trying to get that back into Burlington. And um, what are your thoughts on some of the things on the ballot this year, such as um, Proposition 2 and Proposition 5? Um, I am actually out here, um, I think, yeah, I voted on both of them, and um, uh, they're both very important. I'm also out here for something called Prop Zero, which allows citizens to, we're trying to get enough petitions to allow citizens to put a ballot question on the ballot, where ev everywhere else in Vermont has that, but Burlington. So it's more direct democracy, and that's what I think people need. And um, thoughts on the new high school? The new high school is, what do you think about it? Because I feel like you're the one that really needs to weigh in on that. Well, yeah, I'm I'm from Essex, actually. And right now, where our high school is also like one from the 60s or 70s, and like uh -huh. it's also falling apart. And I, I, I also, I, I think that we definitely need a new high school and we just need to put a ton of money into it because the longer the thing will last the the more money we'll actually save in the future and I think like it's hard especially when most of our voters are like very old um, to like see that and like think legacy wise on how like breaking the bank um, with your taxes is going to actually help so much in the long run. Um, and so you, it's easy to think selfishly, but I think we really do need to buy like a really good, expensive, um, furnished high school that will last like 100 or even 200 years. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I, I think uh, the buildings are very important. It's also very much about the experiences that are going on and uh, not just in those buildings, but um, especially high school uh, students, getting them out in the community like you're doing right now is really, really important. So while the facilities are important, it's the experiences that are the most important. And getting out in the community is, um, there's no substitute for that. So what you're doing is is fundamental for education. And um, thoughts on the new wastewater facility for Burlington? You know, I'm not really up on that. I will cop to that. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, no, not many people have been talking about that. But uh, and finally, um, any peop candidates on the ballot that you've been excited for or that have stood out? Huh. Um, yes. There is a candidate that I think that Brenda Siegel, um, I thought her message is, was very important. I've, I think that she has not received enough 
serious um, attention in terms of what her po what her positions are. I think that they're very um, much supported by people, housing, you know, the common people. I think that she stands and she would enact policies that they really care about. But I feel like there's a political class that doesn't quite look at what people stand for as much as, oh, do they already have the power? So that's a little bit concerning to me. But Brenda Siegel, that would be amazing. I know that she doesn't have a chance, and I think that's sad. Well, it was very nice talking with you. If you want to catch this interview, it'll be on later tonight um, on CCTV. Okay, Thank you great. so much. Thank Have you. a nice night. Yeah, thanks. Um, mm -hmm. And then you cut out my answer, whatever I okay. said the first time. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Mm. Yeah, it's it, there's something called democracy creative in town where yeah. people. Do you know about that? I know a little bit about. Okay. That, but I I would love for you to explain it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so if you want to ask me that question again. So why do you think that um, voting matters? Voting matters when you have a uh, when you have a choice between um, dictatorship and. Um, representative government for sure but elections are in my in in my opinion part of the part of the problem they are um, not democratic you don't get a person a, a type of situation where um, the average person can run because usually they don't have enough money or time or both and at the national level there's capture by special interests so I'm interested in something called sortition which is um, choosing um, a citizens assembly by lottery and that was actually the way democracy was done in ancient Athens nobody realizes that anymore but elections were thought to be oligarchic oligarchic and um, uh, sortition was thought to be democratic because it truly was we were truly able to hear the voice of the common people if you're chosen by lottery you become informed about an issue and you deliberate with your fellow citizens you end up making better decisions as a society so I'm interested in sortition and um, citizens assemblies and we're working on that with a group called creative uh, Demo democracy creative in the soda plant so if you're interested um, it's an exciting thing that's going on Europe has a lot of them um, citizens assemblies and it's working very well per, uh, Paris in particular has just started a, a citizens assembly so democracy creative um, dot com thanks thank you thank you thank you get yeah, give me one second Travis, get me in. What am I yeah. paying you for? <laughs> All right. So, why do you think that uh, voting matters? Um, I consider myself more of an anarchist than a person who believes in the current legal system. But at the same time, I kind of understand that the government still exists and that local elections can really make or break certain things. Um, there's been a lot of issues of houselessness, of... Um, police brutality of um, things like the F-35s that have really come down to local voters and local people, local initiatives trying to protect their communities. So um, I don't think there's a lot we can get done at the state level a lot of the time, but at the super hyper local level where people are like really invested in their communities and like know what's right for them um, can actually defend them from horrible projects and horrible policing and things like that. So um, yeah, I think it's just, it's important to be involved in, I'm not going to say like, oh, democracy is dying or whatever, because it's, it's always been kind of a mess, but um, you kind of just have to on these hyper-local things. Um, like the kids at BHS need a high school because theirs is full of asbestos and they're going to school in the mall and I think they should have a high school. Stuff like that.
And then uh, more ballot-wise, what are your thoughts on the new amendment propositions? Proposition 2, banning indentured servitude. Proposition 5, um, reproductive liberty yeah, amendment. I think people should have bodily autonomy and also not be slaves or indentured servants, so I voted yes on both of those. Yeah, not much more to say on that. <laughs> And you spoke a little bit about it, but your thoughts on the new Burlington High School? Yeah, I think they need one. Um, it's expensive, but like if there's anything I'm going to spend tax money on, it should be for kids getting an education, so don't have any qualms about that. And um, new wastewater facility? I don't feel like I know a ton about that. I don't think that was really widely advertised, so... Uh, I'm just gonna have to see what happens with that one. <laughs> and then finally, any candidates that stood out this year? Um, I'm really excited about um, being able to vote for both Tanya Vihovsky and Inc Infinite Cold Cleasure. Um, I know the new Senate district thing just happened and now I guess I'm in 17 rather than whatever I was in in the past, but um, those are two people that I've, I've worked with extensively on different activist stuff and um, I feel like those are people who are actually trying, people who are trying to represent us and not just become these career politicians. These are people who are like really engaged in their communities. And I know that sounds really corny, but these are people who will like actually fight for you. And I've seen them fight for people. So, well, thank you so much. And I hope you have a nice day. This will be uh, on CCTV tonight. Sweet. If you want to catch the interview, Sweet. Thanks. nice day. What is good, Vermont? We've gotten our interviews. We're heading back to the studio. We've talked to many Vermonters about the local issues. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Because, like, we got, like, the dog, the sign, and then her walking into the building. That was... Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Your full name? My name is Robert Leidy. And uh, what brought you out to vote today, Robert? Well, um, I'm concerned about the direction our country is going in, and uh, voting is so important to direct our country in the right direction. I'm also a strong believer that it's groups of people that make intelligent decisions, not individuals. So this perception that someone like Bill Gates or Elon Musk is somehow brilliant, everybody makes mistakes and the way we correct mistakes is doing it as a group. And we're, we're through democracy, we're able to, as a group, make better decisions. Are there any, uh, there are a couple of big ballot items this year, to amendments to the Vermont Constitution. Do you have any important factors going into your decisions on those votes? Well, 
I think the Vermont Constitution items both were very, very important items. The anti-slavery item, is, I'm a huge supporter of that. I've often gone to the conference over at the John Brown Center in, uh, in, in New York. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a huge issue and we need to correct our history. The other item, um, my, my uh, um, relative to abortion, uh, my family is a strong, has always been a strong supporter of women's rights. And my mother uh, was a captain in the Army Norse Corps in World War II. She came back to her town and she worked in a doctor's office performing abortions for women of wealth and she hated it she just couldn't believe how how hip, the hypocrisy of the time so she and my father uh, my father took me to the family cemetery and showed me how one third of the women had died of abortions in, in our family over time including my great grandmother uh, and it's 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 a horrible thing, uh, and we need to correct that. And it's and women's rights are incredibly important. I've often protested in in Washington over time, uh, and uh, I'm a strong supporter of that. It's it's really important. Any candidates that you're, you're feeling excited about this year? Um, well. I really liked both Molly Gray and Becca Balance, so there's like no issues there. Uh, so, you know, we have wonderful choices here in Vermont. I, I, I like that. I would like to see Vermont switch to an open primary because I find it ridiculous that we don't end up like in California, the top two, the top vote getters in the primary, in an open primary, end up voting in the, you vote for in the final election. So it should have been Molly Gray versus Becca Ballin in the final vote, not, and not some Republican guy that got 10 votes in, the, in a primary, right? They, they don't really, they shouldn't be on the ballot, right? Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Robert. Have a good one. Thanks for voting. Oh, we've got this guy. We're just gonna, we'll just ask why you're, why you're out to vote today and if there are any candidates that you're excited about, but. One sec. One sec. <laughs> How long have you lived in Burlington? Um, I mean, I'm a UVM student, so it's like my third year. Cool. But like, first year living on campus. Nice. And yeah, like my friend like helped me register to vote for like the town hall election awesome. in March. Nice. Um, Cause yeah, she's part of like the, some like club. I'm glad you're out. Yeah. Sweet. Love it. This is great. <laughs> this is really good timing. Good timing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm so sorry to hold Thank Jeff. You. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you try talking into the mic, let's see. Able to do is it? Talk yeah, it's okay. Okay, cool. Um, so you just share your name. Um, my name is Kenzie. Awesome. And uh, can you share why you're out to vote today? Because uh, I care about democracy and people's bodily autonomy, and I also want Peter Welch and Becca Balant to win. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned uh, the the big ballot items, the changes to Vermont Constitution. Yeah. How are you feeling about those? Uh, definitely scared. I mean. Like, it definitely, it could go either way, I feel. Like, I know enough people that care about bodily autonomy, but also a state like this, I feel like it's a little hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. And um, do you know anything about the high school vote, the vote to fund Burlington's new high school? Are you excited about that? Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't grow up here, um, but, like, having a high school that doesn't have a 
asbestos is falling apart is important. I know it's expensive, but I feel like it's worth it in the long run because that's people's education. And also, like, I used to, like sometimes school is like the only place for people to escape from like their home life. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, it. Have you. a good one. You too. Good luck voting. It is so important to you. It'll just take a second for Kate to get the camera going. Um, awesome. Could you share your name? Um, I'm Deanna Allen. Sorry. Could this? Could I get oh, yeah. a little bit farther. Awesome. And um, could you just share why you're out here today? Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Take two, right? Um, could you share a little bit about why you're out here today? Yep, I'm out here because I think it's really important for our community that we have a fully functioning high school and Macy's has been a great stopgap in the meantime, but it's not a long-term solution. And so we need to build a high school and have a high school that has everything that our kids need. So any, anything else on the ballot that got you excited to vote this morning? Um. And candidates or any other the other ballot items a couple items about the Vermont Constitution um, anything else that's exciting you yeah I, I don't know I yeah I don't I don't think I have a lot of comment on others other thank you so yeah. much appreciate yeah. it. Can you just share your name Victor Prusak and uh, why what brought you out to vote today Victor uh, well I live in town my daughter went to schools in Burlington I also work for the Burlington School District and uh, the number one thing is the school bond. Yeah. yeah. Can you share a little bit more about that? Why is that so important to you? Yeah, that, it's critical. You can't have a thriving community without a thriving high school. And being in Macy's is fantastic. It's an incredible lift that we did that was an incredible success, but it's temporary. And um, we would actually end up having, I think, the best high school in the state. And it'll attract people that continue to come to Burlington. Any candidates on the ballot that you're really excited about that got you out here this morning as well? Um, none that I'm worried they're going to lose, so I don't really have anything yeah, to add to that, really. Yeah. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time. <laughs> right in time. <laughs> okay, awesome. Can you share your name? Uh, Blue. Awesome. Uh, and can you share why you came out to vote today? Um, it's important to the system, and I know electoralism doesn't always feel like it works, but it's still important either way. Are there any candidates that brought you out this morning that you're excited about? No, I'm going to be real. I'm not the most informed voter, but I still think it's important to get out and vote, even if I have minimal knowledge. Yeah. And the, there's a big vote on the high school uh, bonding the, you know, funding the new high school in Burlington. Do you have any feeling about that, or do you think that's an important vote? I think it's important, yeah. I think having access to education is really important, so... Thanks so much. Have a good one. Thank you as well. Those things are tricky. <laughs> Oh, there we go, the, button, the backup plan. Yeah, every year, every decade, every time. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Good to oh, see you. Oh, hey, oh. And then you got the there, and then... Hey, it's freezing. It's no, really right? cold out here this morning, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and my mom is coming too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Did you vote? I'm going in now. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much again. Can you share your name? My name is Yuar Adjog Yuar. And uh, what brought you out to vote today? Um, I came out here to vote because I think it's, um, it's important to have your voice be heard. And I think that uh, democracy um, depending, uh, depends on um, voting. Are there any candidates that are really exciting for you this year? Uh, yes, yeah, there's a bunch of candidates, but um, obviously I'm not going to say publicly, so I'm going to go in there and, um, and vote. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any, there's a couple big ballot items, changes to the Vermont Constitution um, and also a, a bond for uh, funding for a new high school. Or are you feeling strongly or like any of those uh, ballot items are particularly important to you? Um, definitely the high school one. Um, I'm native of Burlington and um, I went to Burlington High School myself and I think that the city deserves um, in, in high school um, and um, a functioning high school.
So I'm um, definitely be voting for it for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Just why you came out to vote today, and then uh, also if you wanted to talk about the charter change, I'll uh, give you yeah, a chance to sure. talk, talk about that. But, um, cool. Are you good to go, Kate? Awesome. So you want to just share your name? Uh, my name is Daniel Spencer. Awesome. And uh, what brought you out to vote today, Daniel? Uh, just trying to do my civic duty and um, make sure that my voice is heard. You know. Uh, were there any big ballot items, questions, there are a couple changes to the Vermont Constitution that are on the ballot this year and funding for a new high school? Are there any ballot items that uh, were feeling energizing for you? Um, yeah, all the um, the constitution, the Vermont Constitution changes that I saw um, were seem really important, especially reproductive liberty and the uh, abolishment of slavery. Um, it seemed very important to just uh, make sure that my voice was heard. Are there any candidates that are really exciting for you this year? Um, not, not particularly. Um, just uh, trying to support every the pe the people who are closest to where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah, and and you're out here uh, gathering signatures for Proposition Zero. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, proposition Zero is a proposition to enable direct democracy in Burlington. So it'll allow uh, ballot initiatives uh, created by uh, residents to actually uh, change city ordinances or uh, give residents a voice to override the city council if we disagree with something that they've done. Um, so we're just gathering signatures to, uh, to get that on the ballot in March. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> totally saw us like looking at him like. <laughs> Slavery is. Sorry, just one sec. I just want to make sure that Kate has the camera ready to go so that we have. Okay, awesome. Can you just uh, share your name? Uh, Darone. Awesome. And uh, what brought you out to vote today? Uh, the ballot initiative, making sure that reproductive liberty is continuing and that there's no slavery um, listed. Are there any uh, candidates that, that you were really excited about voting for this, uh, this election? Not particularly. <laughs> I just voted pretty progressively. Yep. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You. Hi, how's it going? Do you have a second to share why you voted this morning? Okay, that's okay. Have a good one. It is pretty good. Thank you. So I interrupted myself with my girlfriend. Okay, could you open these for me? I guess I'm not. Yeah, so I took this to the wrong board site. Did you? It's the site where the previous left. Or mittens out, and you know, so yeah, this is this is a lot better. <laughs> it's great. Um, can you share your name? Sure, Allegra Miller. And uh, just uh, share why you came out to vote today. Because um, I think it's very important to vote, and I um, was opting, just deciding whether I should do um, the mail in or come to the polls. And when I heard people were nervous about coming to the polls, I decided I was going to come to the polls for that specific purpose rather than, um, you know do it, um, what's the word, <laughs> uh, by, you know, at my, at my home, so. Why were people nervous about 
Um, I don't, just what you've been hearing, you know, people were, um, that there might be some controversy at the polling place. It wasn't necessarily a Burlington thing, but um, it's just in the news I'd heard about that at other places. So I decided I felt, didn't feel nervous and that I should come. <laughs> so. Are there any big, or a couple big ballot items on the, on, on the ballot this year for the high school as well as about the Vermont Constitution? Any of those feel really important to you? Uh, yes, especially for me, the high school one feels I'm a retired educator, and I just think that's so important for a community. It's the least a community can do for their children is to have a place that they can go to high school. So um, I am really in favor of that, and my fingers are crossed that, that other people feel the same way. So I'm anticipating a yes vote. <laughs> And uh, any candidates that you're really excited about this year? Yeah, I'm very excited about Becca Ballin. I'm so proud that Vermont's finally putting, bringing a woman forth, and to hopefully I'm very, my fingers are crossed for her too. I'm really excited about her energy and her intelligence, um, and she has a lot of integrity, so I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a good That's one. Really good. <laughs> that was okay. great. So it was perfect. <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm just gonna, awesome. Cool. So uh, can you share your name? Sure. It's Mike Fisher. Awesome. And uh, can you just share why you came out to vote today? Uh, I was brought up that uh, it's a civic duty to vote. And specifically today, I'm uh, supporting the high school bond. Um, and uh, even though I won't personally benefit, it's super important to me that we that the city has a, a, a real permanent high school. And so uh, uh, that's really a, the big issue for me today, along with all the other um, uh, positions up and, and senator and super important stuff. But for me, the, the, the biggest thing that I think is uh, up for the voters is the high school bond. There are a couple big uh, potential changes to the Vermont Constitution, uh, one about uh, abolishing slavery, another one about reproductive health and freedom. Either of those feeling important to you or, or any big factors in your decisions there? I think the, for me the slavery one, I, I, I supported both of the uh, uh, both amendments. Uh, the slavery one to me is, is a minor fix um, if it's Im important to some people that uh, we change that, you know, that, that uh, legal gap. I'm fine with that. I don't think it's really going to change a lot of things. The reproductive one, I think, uh, is going to be important uh, going forward. Uh, who knows what's going to happen in many years, you know, decades forward, how Vermont's going to, you know, skew left or right. Uh, so I think that's really important to get that in the Constitution. Any candidates that, are, that you're really excited about this year? Um, I'm very supportive of my local. I always think local first. Uh, my two representatives, uh, Gabrielle Stebbins and Tiff Bloomley, I think have been doing a great job, and uh, so I'm excited to support them. And, uh, this is the first year with some new uh, Senate districts. It's the slightly smaller Senate district as opposed to the, the county-wide six-seat district. Um, does that change your expectations of how you'll be represented at all or, or the way that you're thinking about voting this year? Uh, it's a great question. I do think it's really interesting being in the south end of Bur uh, Burlington that we've been separated from the rest of Burlington. Um, I do like the idea of, of separating out the Chittenden into the different, uh, you know, the north, central, and the south. I think that was a, a good move. Um, and I know all three of the, uh, the incumbents um, for, the, for the Senate, so I'm, I'm happy to support them. Um, but I do think it's odd that, that the south end of Burlington was, was, was separated from the rest of Burlington. Um, but it didn't change. I, I'm, I'm disappointed I can't support my old colleague Martin Gulick in the central race, uh, but um, I'm, I'm supportive of the way that it was se separated. I'm Thank supportive you. of the fact that it was separated, but not actually not the, how the lines were drawn. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Have a good one. Such an awesome um, idea. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Kate? Yeah, awesome. So. Uh, you can just share your name. Louise Stoll. And why did you come out to vote today, Louise? Well, I have always come out to vote. I haven't missed a vote since I was 16 years old, when I pretended I was old enough. Uh, and are there any, so there are a couple important ballot items on, on the ballot this year, changes to the Vermont Constitution and funding for a new high school. Are any of those feeling uh, particularly important to you this year? The development of a new high, uh, high school was very important to me. Uh, the kids who have had to go to high school in the last few years have, you know, have gone to something that isn't appropriate for them. And this city is wealthy enough to be able to support 
a really good school. We have a good university. We have a good medical system. And these kids have to be well, tra well trained in a place that's very comfortable and full of the right people. Uh, any candidates that you're really excited about this year? No. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Louise. Have a, have a great day. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Selection days, things like that. Good to go. Uh, so you want to share your name? I'm Michael Healy. Um, and as town clerk for uh, Ward, f which, which ward are you? Um, ward clerk in Ward 5. <laughs> And um, can you just share a little bit about what you've seen today on election day and how, how things have been going and, and if it feels any different from past years with all of the early voting and, and um, whether this feels a little bit different than it has in past years? Um, what I see is we've got a lot of happy voters, a lot of people coming in to vote in person. Um, and it's been, I don't know if it's surprising, but it's been busy. And so that's fun for us being here. A lot of people voted early. I don't know if it's different than the past couple rounds. I think people are used to voting early. Um, so I'm guessing about half of our voters voted early and about half are going to vote in person. That's a guess. Um, we got a great team of workers here. Everybody's doing their jobs, making it work smooth for everyone that's here. Anything else that's top of mind for you today as you're uh, looking forward to tabulating the results for tonight? Oh, that part is far in the future. Um, we're just trying to make sure we get everything right to start with so it's easy at the end of the night. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. And again, y'all let me know if you want to do an interior shot there. We yeah, we, we might before we leave, okay. I think. So, good. Thanks. Cool. That was good. Great. Um, just share your name. Uh, my name is Claude Lehman. Awesome. And uh, what brought you up to vote today? Uh, well, first of all, I always vote <laughs> because I think it's very important uh, to, uh, you know, to, use, to exercise your vote. Um, sometimes it feels hopeless, but I always do it. And I think I'd like to see more and more people vote. Higher turnout, uh, I think, would be a good thing. Big, some big questions in the ballot this year. There are a couple amendments to the Vermont Constitution and a question about funding a new high school. Any of those feeling of particular importance to you this year as you're voting? Yeah, I think the new high school is very important. I voted for it. It's a lot of money, but we have to have a high school. Uh, my kids both had to go to school at the Macy's. Not ideal. They're not going to benefit from the new high school, but uh, I want the future generations <laughs> to have a real high school. Any candidates that you're really excited about this year? Uh, yeah, I'm excited about Becca Ballin um, and Dave Zuckerman. Both, uh, I think, are excellent. Tiff, uh, also Tiff uh, Bloomley from my district. I I'm excited about all of them. They, uh, I think, have good uh, liberal progressive politics that I believe in, especially in the climate right now where I feel like very anti-liberal kind of uh, politics are on the rise. I am excited to have those voices representing me. This is the first year with some new Senate district lines. There's a smaller Senate district representing, um, you know, this particular part of town as opposed to a state, uh, a county-wide six-seat district. Does that change the way that you expect to be represented in Montpelier, the way that you're thinking about voting? No, I can honestly say I haven't given a lot of thought to that. Um, and I, I don't completely, I haven't really followed why that was decided. So I, I'm not really sure. But... Generally, I think it's probably better to have smaller districts because then you don't need as much money in order to reach the voters. So I'm generally in favor of that. Uh, but I haven't really followed the specifics of why this happened. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Have a good one. I have a weird compliment. Hey, are we good to go? Awesome. Okay, cool. Can you just uh, share your name? My name is Kyle Tyndall. And um, can you just share why you came out to vote today? There have been some important things in the ballot that I wanted to vote for that were, you know, for different people's rights and different things. And then there's also local stuff like uh, the the new school and voting for that, getting, you know, getting things, helping getting things done. <laughs> uh, any candidates that you're really excited about this year? Not particularly, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's been terms I got out and, you know. Yeah, and, and you mentioned a couple of those questions um, around changes to the Vermont Constitution and funding for a new high school. Any of those questions feel particularly really important for you to come out this year? There was a question on or, um, a vote for ab abortion rights that I wanted, I wanted to vote 
vote towards uh, to help kind of help get that uh, you know, help in that as much as I can. You know. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Cool. Awesome. Can you uh, just tell us your full name? 
Molly Berry. Awesome. And uh, what brought you out to vote today, Molly? It's important for us to do it as our civic duty to make sure that our voice is heard in Washington, um, to address our local issues, to make sure our state constitution reflects the values that we have here in Vermont, and um, just to model that that's what we do. There were some, some big ballot item questions uh, this year. Yeah. Were there any of those that, that felt pretty exciting for you or important to you? Um, I think in the context of our country's political climate right now and the things that are happening in the Supreme Court, I think it's really important for us to make sure that we're um, ensuring the reproductive freedom of Vermonters and showing it as a model to the rest of the country that that's what we support. Are there any candidates that uh, got you excited to vote this year? Um, Becca, <laughs> for sure. Definitely want to make sure that um, our liberal voices are heard in Washington. I think that um, that's kind of our role in Vermont, is to make sure that we um, provide a liberal voice and a perspective that is um, encompassing of of all Americans and shows the respect and um, concern we have for, for everyone in our country. This is the first year with new district lines. There's a new Senate district for Chittenden County that's a little bit smaller than in past years. Did that change the way you're voting at all or the way you expect to be represented in Montpelier? Not specifically. I'd have to see. <laughs> Thanks so much, Molly. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. No Thank problem. You. <laughs> oh no! You're all right. I like to look much better. Oh yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it's been out recently. Going out, you know, and I fell off the down the stairs. Yeah. Oh, really? my porch stairs. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and you're still out to vote today. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes. I think this was one of the most important yeah. voting privileges we've had in since I'm and I'm 88 years old. So yeah. I've. Yeah done a lot of absentee ballots, but I wanted to vote personally, make sure my vote got yeah, there. Yeah. Are we ready to go, Kate? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. Um, are there any uh, ballot items that are really exciting for you today, uh, the amendments to the Vermont Constitution? Yeah. I'm voting no on both of them. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I feel so terrible about this abortion thing. They're making such a, such a, a, a funny thing about it, and it's not. We're talking about a live child that's being killed. It's important. That's life. And I, I don't know if they even feel pain then. It's be, just before they, you know, they gotta have a time at least. It, it shouldn't be just before they're born that that happens. It, it's too terrible. Are there any? Kids. I love kids. We got 14 great grandchildren. <laughs> Our 14th was just born several months ago. <laughs> Are there any candidates that brought you out today that you're excited about? Uh, nothing locally, but uh, international or nationally, I am. But yeah. I'm, I'm for well, Scott. And, you know, he's a, he's a yeah. dependable guy. So. This is the new, the first year with uh, new district lines for the the state senate. Does that impact your your voting at all today? Uh, no, I'm I'm satisfied with who we had. I was an opera singer. This, uh, one of the bass soloists used to say to me, Shirley, you don't have to know stuff like that. You're, you're a soprano. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sing a song at the grocery store and they'll give me a <laughs> 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 of bread. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thanks for voting. My name is Paul Gerard. Awesome. And uh, what brought you out to the polls today? Uh, I've always voted uh, in pretty much every election. I think it's an important part of our democratic process. Awesome. Were there any ballot items? There are a couple big questions on the on the ballot this year. Were there any that felt really important to you? 
Uh, what was it, the number 22, the, the reproductive rights? I thought that was pretty important to establish that as part of our, our uh, state constitution to protect those rights, yeah. And any candidates that got you excited to get out to the polls today? Um, I, I'm excited about uh, Becca Blinn um, for Congress, absolutely. I think she'll be a, 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 an interesting and unique voice in Congress for us, yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, Paul. Yeah, appreciate no problem. it. Yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate it. You? Thank you so much. Yes. What did you say? Am I looking at you or the camera? Uh, the camera. The camera, if that's okay. Um, or is it at me or at the camera? Whatever you're comfortable with. You can look at me if that's better. Uh, can you just share your, your name? Uh, Carl Haas. Awesome. And uh, why'd you come out to vote today, Carl? Um, because I feel like it's my obligation to vote. I'm not really excited about anything, but I feel like if I don't vote, something, I don't know. That's what good people do, is vote, I guess, is why I'm here, to assure myself that I'm good in some way. Uh, there are a couple uh, big amendments to the Vermont Constitution on the ballot this year. Are any of those feeling important to you? There's one about um, amending the, um, the language about slavery in the, in the Constitution, another one about reproductive health. Um, either of those feeling important or, or you know, any factors that are going into your decisions there? Yeah, the reproductive health, I think we need to protect the right to abortion. I think that at this point, I don't think it's in jeopardy in Vermont, but I guess we need to shore it up and see what the heck's going to happen with the Senate and um, and the federal government. The uh, slavery language, I'm not super clear on. I'm against slavery, so whatever's in there, I'll <laughs> vote for that, I guess. Yeah. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thanks. Thank you. Those were good answers, too. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Nice. Good morning. How's it going? Awesome. Great. So um, what are you expecting this year on Election Day with a lot of early mail-in voting? Um, do you expect anything different for the tabulation process this year? Um, mail-in voting changes the whole process um, for clerks to, as we try and prepare for the election. So we're not really quite sure what to expect. Um, we have about 33% of our ballots that were mailed out have come back. Um, which is less than I would expect. So I don't know what that means for today, if that means people are gonna be coming out because they've been waiting or they just have, don't have the interest. Um, so far it has been somewhat steady, but not a typical November election, midterm election. Anything else top of mind for you today as you're you know, getting ready to tabulate the ballots? No, just reminding people to, if they have their ballot, take the ballot with them to the polls because that is their official ballot. Um, and we close at seven o'clock here in South Burlington. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you it. So much. I can't even tell too with like the sun if this is turning out okay. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Us about why you voted this morning? Surely. Oh my gosh, awesome. Don't call me I'm, a, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> sleepy. I'm coming off the night shift. That's totally understandable. Well, we appreciate you taking a moment to talk with us. We're with Town Meeting TV. Um, basically, we're just interviewing voters at the polls um, to uh, show during our uh, live election results show tonight. Um, so, really quickly, what's your name? Uh, Gary Guthrie. Awesome. Now, Gary, can you tell us a little bit about why you came out to vote uh, today and why it's important to you? Surely, yeah. I, uh, believe and hold voting as like a fundamental uh, right as a citizen of the United States, um, a country that I just can't love enough. So uh, the vote is the most powerful action we can take as citizens. So it's a very easy thing to do. I've been working all night, been awake for way too long. It's still easy enough for me to just stop in and cast a vote. Well, that's great to hear that. And were there anything, any particular ballot, me ballot measures on the ballot that you were excited to vote on or um, you were interested in? Um, I mean, the Senate seat's huge, right? Uh, there's um, two of them a state. 
50 states. It's a lot of power. Um, the, the Senate vote, I think, is the biggest vote that we're casting uh, here in the state. So um, that, that meant a lot to vote for that one, yeah. And um, I also, um, redistricting happened during this year's legislative session. And um, are you aware of how that changed your vote? Or um, do you wish you knew more? Uh, no, I have zero input on that, unfortunately. I'm not a Vermonter uh, by trade. I actually come from the Midwest. I uh, relocated here a couple years ago. Um, so that has actually very little impact on anything in, in my uh, my uh, time here. So. Well, thank, that's all right. We really appreciate you taking a moment to stop by and uh, tell us why voting is important to you. So thank you so much. No, appreciate for your it. Time. Y'all be well. Try thank you so warm. much. You as well. With Town Meeting TV for a moment about why you came out to vote today. Uh, well, my name is Azzy, and. Uh, <laughs> In Vermont, everybody knows pretty much who is Azzy when you talk about soccer and everything. Yes, I would like to talk about my vote, but to be brutally honest, I'm the kind of guy, I thought voting is personal. So, and also, I don't vote just because one issues pop up. It's a combination of what has been going on for a while. And yourself, you see it. In one world, nobody is going to influence me when it's about voting. I'm uh, hopefully intellectual enough to vote. But uh, it's personal. And as I say, I voted. As you see, listen, you should vote. Because I always said, if you don't vote, don't complain. If you don't vote, don't complain. So I came to fulfill my duties. That's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Okay. Now, were, th were there anything, um, did, did, were you aware, excuse me, were you aware of the re change in legislature redistricting and um, how it's going to change your representation this coming legislative session? Uh, well, as a Vermonter, I will say yes. I will say yes, but again, <laughs> I want to be sincere with you. I don't think in Vermont we just worry too much. We talk a lot, but you know, after all, everything turns out to be fine. We are not the kind of uh, rockish and you know, try to be hawkish and try to be. I vote in a Vermont way, and uh, thank you, Lord, I'm in Vermont. <laughs> and, uh, I'm glad I voted. Well, we really appreciate you taking a moment to speak with us, and thank you so much for well, taking you your time. Welcome. Have a lovely day. You yeah, well. see you. Yeah, awesome. bye. Do you have a moment to speak with us about why you voted today? Yes. All right. Could you tell us your name and uh, why you came out and why you think it's important to vote? Uh, Richard Blanchard. Uh, we're going to get uh, gas uh, lowered, uh, whatever it takes to get that to happen. Uh, bad time to uh, be raising taxes um, and regulations are always uh, kind of a hindrance kind of open up things sorry I didn't mean to cut you off <laughs> yeah uh, yeah that's basically uh, why I came out today hopefully uh, that will happen sooner than later were there any candidates on the ballot that you were particularly looking at and excited to vote for? Uh, I guess um, Maloney uh, uh, seems like whoever has been in office uh, just hasn't got it done. Uh, got to find a way to get things going again. Well, well, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. And um, have a great rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Thank you.
And um, oh. so uh, we're doing interviews with voters at the polls, and so we'll kind of intersperse them in with our results show. Okay. Um, so if you don't, I feel like I'm, I'm in your no, shadow No, no, you keep moving. I, I, um, <laughs> um, so <laughs> there we go. Now my shadow's not on you. All right, um, really quickly, what's your name, and why did you come out to vote this morning? My name is Amy, and um, there are a few important questions on the ballot that I was passionate about. Such as? Such as <laughs> um, the amendment to the Consti Vermont Constitution for um, slavery to, and also the reproductive rights question. Um, were there any candidates in particular on the ballot that got you excited about coming out to vote this morning? Becca Ballant. Great. And um, were you aware of um, redistricting changes that happened to the legislature um, this past um, s session? and how that changes your representation in the legislature? No. Um, I Interesting, a lot of people are not aware of redistricting and how it's changed who, who how many representatives there are in each Oh, state. is that the deal? It's Absolutely. For, yeah, state representatives yeah. and also... And that's um, one of the reasons why we're, we're doing we're fi and we're finding out that a lot of people just... Are, no, are, is that why they asked me what aware. where I live and, yep. and what, yeah. exactly. what district I was? I was all like, the, I didn't even know the there was... A, it all changes up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Learn well, something. We appreciate your time. Um, thank you very much for talking with us, Amy, and have a great rest of your day. You too. Great. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. Asking um, what your name is and why you came out to vote today and why it's important to you. Uh, my name is Kirstie Pascal, um, and I vote in every election. Um, I feel like there's not a way to say why it's important that's not cheesy. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's a basic right and everybody has to do, like, it's the bare minimum of being a person in society. So, um, Were there any particular um, ballot items or constitutional amendments on the ballot that um, you were excited to vote for today? I felt pretty strongly about, uh, was it Amendment 22? Proposal 22? Yep. Um, that felt good to be able to vote for. Um, I felt strongly in supporting that one. Um, and then this is a side note, but on the Essex ballot, there was a measure for joining the Winooski Valley Parks District, which I didn't realize was on the ballot, and I was very excited to see it. Could you tell us a little bit more about why you were excited for that? I think they just do great work, and I think it's like I'm excited that we'll be under their management in that partnership and paying into the work that they do. That's great. Thank you very much. And how about any candidates in particular that you were excited to see on the ballot? Uh, I'm always happy to vote for Peter Welch. I think he's been doing great work, and I'll be happy to see him in the Senate. Great. And um, were you aware of the redistricting that happened during last legislative session um, that uh, changed who you voted for for state representatives as well as state Senate? 
I feel like I should have been. <laughs> um, it's something that I think I heard sort of out in the ether, but didn't pay as much mind to as I should have. Um, so no, I, going into it, I did not, I didn't put two and two together. And now after you've voted um, and you've seen the difference in, um, so for state senate, it, there's three different um, districts now as opposed to one uh, represented by six senators. Um, does that, um, how, do, how do you feel about that? I think it's helpful to narrow the field a little bit just because it can be difficult. Um, I think at the state level sometimes to find information on candidates, so to only be choosing three as opposed to six is a little less digging on a voter's behalf. And finally, before we end, um, just because I'm curious, how did you find information about your candidates before you came to the polls? Uh, I'll do searches on like Google and Facebook mostly. Um, I know that a lot of the local candidates will go to like farmers markets and stuff. So whenever they're around, I haven't been to any local events recently, and that's obviously been harder with the pandemic. But whenever someone's around, I'll chat with them and take whatever handouts they have. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And um, if you'd like to tune in tonight, um, you might see yourself on town meeting really quickly. All right. Could you tell us your name and why you voted today, sir? Ian Polrang. The main reason I voted today was to go and vote for the women's rate for reproductive services. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like our country's going in the wrong direction, and you, people have to come and speak out for what they believe in, and I believe in a woman's right to choose for themselves, and anything else is an abomination. That's great. Thank you so much for that. And were there any particular um, other ballot items that brought you out this morning, or candidates in particular? Nope. This is primarily, that was the one. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate that. Thanks very much. Thank you both. Just a quick second of your time. Very quickly. Okay. Okay. All right. We appreciate it. So, um, what side do you want me on, Doesn't Scott? Matter. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, so, really quickly, what's your name and um, what brought you out to vote this morning? My name is Jamie Heath, and uh, I think that as a young voter, it's really important to get young people's voices heard. And um, were there any particular ballot items or measures in? Uh, specific that um, you were excited about voting on in today's election? Um, there was, I think, Article 1. It crossed out uh, a portion that excluded people that weren't from the United States, and I, I did like that. Great. Um, and how about any candidates in particular? Um, I definitely uh, stand for what Becca Bull... Balint? 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 Stood for, yeah. I like that. Um, what, anything in particular about Becca Balint that really got you excited? <sighs> I read it last night and I just, I <laughs> just checked her off. Um, I, not, not, nothing in particular now. Um, and I'm, I'm curious, how did you um, find information about ballot items and candidates um, in order to make an informed vote? Today? It was actually kind of hard. Um, I had to do quite a bit of research and like looking on the correct places online, um, but I, I eventually found it, yeah. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to add about um, perhaps voting in person? Oh, I feel like it's, I feel, I feel really good when I vote in person. I feel like I'm, I'm actually doing something. So, yeah, I like it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And um, we'll probably, we're doing a live results show tonight, Town Meeting TV. Um, all right. Um, really quickly, um, what's your name and what brought you out to vote this morning? My name's Jack. Uh, I just voted because I feel like everyone should be voting and it's important that we all go out and vote. And there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of divisions, so it's good to like make your voice heard. And, and if it's a tight race, your vote matters. That's it. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Do you have a moment to tell us about why you voted today? Uh, yeah. Great. Really quickly, <clears throat> what's your name and uh, what brought you out? Uh, my name's Carl Burnett from Matswick's Junction, and uh, I came out just uh, for the need of the country. 
Uh, it's heading in the wrong direction. I vote straight Republican. Um, we really need to shift our values. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to be a part. That's great. Thank you. And uh, how about the uh, ballot measures that were on the ballot today? Were there any in particular that um, you were um, interested in voting for? Uh, definitely no on Article 22. Uh, I'm, I'm a pro-lifer. I, I feel uh, uh, the, the execution of children's wrong. Um, and uh, I just believe in life. You know, life and liberty, pursuit of happiness. Typical American. Well, thank you very much, sir. We really appreciate your time. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I guess not. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. You also. Make sure you're not captured. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there freezing with the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> I will ask. Yes. Maybe a little quick because I wasn't smart enough to wear pants. <laughs> Understandable. So just really yeah, that's quick. Me on mm -hmm. um, yeah. why, why are you here voting this morning? Were there any important issues that brought you out? Not any particularly important ones. Um, I just think it's our civic duty. Um, 
everybody is so quick to complain about the state of the world and what's going on and if you don't raise well you don't speak up and and raise the issues that you think are important they'll never be addressed and I don't think you really have a leg to stand on and complain about things at that point um, if you got an opinion on something you should voice your opinion and hopefully it gets addressed appropriately thank you and really quick before we let you go mm -hmm. warm up um, <laughs> were there any um, particular candidates that you felt were um, really supporting the issues that you cared about not really um, it's kind of unfortunate everybody there are so many issues that are not everything's so multifaceted at this point um, no one person I think can fully encompass somebody's beliefs and everything um, depending on what some of their opinions were I voted Democratic I voted Republican I voted independent um, I think there's an element of you know, Vermont's such a small place. There's a good chance I, you probably are on a first name basis with at least one of the candidates. Um, but I think uh, my personal opinion, I've kind of hit a broad swath of t candidates and on a, different opinions. And I like a nice balanced uh, group of people to make decisions if at all possible, because, again, everybody's got a different opinion. And I think if we can speak up and make everybody as happy as possible, it's probably for the best. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And uh, wondering why you came out to vote this morning and um, why that's important to you. Oh, I came up to vote this morning because I have already voted and I needed to vote for the Chittenden Solid Waste District building. Gotcha. So um, it was important for you to come in person even though you had already voted on the rest of the ballots. Absolutely. I'm in for recycling. Great. In all the aspects. <laughs> Were there any other ballot uh, measures or items that had you excited to um, vote when you voted early? When I voted early. Uh, that made me excited about or, voting early. <laughs> or just interested. It's just some ballot items that you I, I didn't vote too early. I waited as long as I could to send the absent, absent ballot in. Yeah. And were there any candidates in particular that um, you um, were focused on this time around? Oh, I, I guess I was concerned that um, um, Irene Renner wasn't, I couldn't find her on the ballot, but I wrote it in and I said, am I in the right district? What, <laughs> you know, what, I was a little confused about the district. Well, there was redistricting in the, in the last session that yes. changed up representation. Well, right. right. Yeah, and I thought, why? Well, maybe that's why her name is not on, on the ballot. So uh, you're definitely not alone. Most people we've talked to have been confused yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, hope not too confused that they didn't write in her name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got hair in my mouth here. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us tonight. Okay. Um, if you're interested, we've got a results show tonight with Town Meeting TV on our YouTube and also on Comcast 1087. It's my first time oh. voting oh God, in the midterms. <laughs> it's my first time voting in the midterms, and it just seems like a really important time to really get out there and vote. So, um, yeah, so yeah, of course. Um, any uh, particular candidates or um, ballot items that you um, I mean, the abortion one, but we just moved here, so I'm still getting familiar with the candidates, so I looked into them as much as I could, um, but yeah, that's, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and if you're interested, we're doing, so we're with Town Meeting TV, and we do a live results this morning, or why it's important to you? All right. Thank you so much. Um, Who are just you with? Really, we're with Town Meeting TV, okay. Channel 17. Um, so really quickly, um, Why'd you come up today and why is voting important to you? As an American citizen, I believe in our Constitution and it makes a provision for us to have a voice in our government. And I think that's extremely important, especially in these days. We need to be heard. And as a citizen, I feel it's my responsibility and duty to do this. Great. And were there any candidates in particular that you felt um, will really um, uphold what you believe in and what you would like to see done in the legislature this coming year? I do. Um, I want to see a shift away from the liberal agenda 
that's my personal preference, um, and more toward a conservative agenda. I think that um, the liberal agenda ignores the conservatives, and I don't, I don't see the conservatives doing that with the liberals and their ideology. You know, I think the conservatives are more inclusive of all people, and in my opinion, from what I have seen reported in the news, um, liberal people, especially very strongly liberal people, they certainly have a right to their opinions and their views, but they're not willing to be inclusive of others who have different points of view. Great, and thank you. And were there any um, particular ballot items that uh, you were excited about um, voting for um, in this election? Yes. Um, Article 22, I voted no. Um, I believe that the baby in the womb is a human being that has a right to life, just like every one of us. I think women um, have a right to their bodies and their health care, and I agree with that. But the um, this issue deals with a life separate from the woman and is not given a chance if um, uh, if if they're terminated and in pregnancy and there are many many helps for women who find themselves pregnancy not of their own choice or accidentally you know I don't know if that's an accident but there are so many helps for women and they're not abandoned by society nobody's going to abandon them but give that baby a right to life great thank you and um, how about the um Chittenden Solid Waste um, Materials Recovery Facility um, bond item. Um, do you think that that's um, good for Chittenden County? Absolutely. Yep. We need to take care of our of our waste. We really do. And, I, and we need to do it in a responsible way. And I think most Vermonters feel that way. We compost. We do what we can to recycle. And, and I think that's a good issue for us to vote on. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really... Uh... Uh, first is to express my uh, liberty and I still want Democrats to be there, so mainly for Peter, for the Senator. Gotcha. And were there any particular um, ballot items or uh, constitutional amendments that um, you were in particular uh, excited to vote about? No, not really. The, the main one is just I want the Democrats to still remain on the seat. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have a moment to speak with us about uh, why you came out to vote today and why it's important to you? Not really. Okay. I don't have any opinion on a lot of things. That's but fair I enough. I just hope it works out for everybody. Yeah. You know. Well, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. You have a great rest of your day. I will. Carry on. And why it's important to you? Well, it's really important to me. I think um, the people we have in charge should be responsible, right? And I vote for the people whose values ma or my values match theirs. That's why I vote. Yeah, right. Thank you. You're welcome. Were there any particular candidates um, that mat really matched your values and you were excited to come out to the polls? And sure. Today? Irene Renner was one. I voted for, I'm a Democrat, but I voted for Phil Scott because I know Phil, okay, and he's a good guy. And I, I like, you know, most, I'd like him to be a little stronger, he knows this, on guns, control. Um, <clears throat> I know David Zuckerman, right? And I like his values, right? So, uh, and Peter Welsh. I mean, I, I voted mostly for Democratic uh, candidates, except for Phil. Yeah. Thank you, and how about um, ballot measures? Were there any specific ballot measures? Yes, I voted yes on the abortion thing and the slavery thing. I have to do a paper on that for Johnson. No, it's now. Vermont State University Johnson. So I have to do a research paper on slavery in Vermont. Yes, yes. So you you must be uh, well versed now then. Well, pretty well. <laughs> and uh, how about the um, Chittenden County Communications Union District? Do you think that that's good? For you know, um, 
I wasn't quite sure. I didn't look it up usually. You know, I like to be sure of the facts. It sounded okay. Uh, I'm just not sure. Uh, but I did vote yes. But, you know, hopefully I'm right there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate okay. it. And yes. we're with Town Meeting TV, and we do a live oh, election results okay. show. At, you came out this morning? Pardon me? Uh, do you have a moment to speak about why voting is important to you and why you came out this morning? A, a lot of things. Uh, the economy is the most important. Uh, the uh, uh, Even the crime is not as bad as in uh, big cities, but even here in Vermont, we have a lot of problems. And, uh, and we just need a change, a big change. And hopefully it will be. Were there any particular candidates um, that you feel can bring about um, that change that you'd like to see? Republicans. How about um, ballot mi uh, measures or items? Were there any that, in particular that you felt strongly about? Yes, I felt the first two items. I definitely voted no on them. And uh, so those were probably the most important ones. Well, thank you so much for your time, sir. We really appreciate uh, you speaking with us. Have a nice day. You as well. Yeah, you Thank, too, you. Thank you. Thank you. why you voted this morning and why it's important for you? Uh, sure, I might actually just wait. I came with my mom, actually. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, she's better with words. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the meantime, while you're here, maybe just really quickly, it's just, it's Town Meeting TV public access. So it's, sure. It's, uh, it's, it's no big deal, but... Sounds uh, good. Do you want to hold this or do you want to hold, hold it? All right. <laughs> just uh, tell us why you came out this morning and why you came out this morning. Um, I came out this morning just obviously to get my vote in. Um, I think it's important that you have a bit of a say in, uh, in your community and um, try and see the change that you want to see um, or keep things the same if that's what you want. But I think that there's not a lot that we can do uh, other than vote. Uh, we can voice our opinions, whether that be online or uh, in person discussions. Uh, at the end of the day, if you uh, want to see change or want things to stay the same, the best way to do it is to get out there and vote. Great. Thank you very much. And also. Um were there any particular ballot items or candidates uh, that really had you excited to come in today and fill out your ballot? Uh, nothing had me overwhelmed and excited. Uh, there were some that I was more so excited to to vote against. Uh, I won't <laughs> won't get into particulars, uh, but overall, uh, I was just excited to be able to voice my opinion. Great, thank you very much. And um, I, in that case. Um, We'll, we'll keep it at that. And do you think your mom would want to speak with us? Absolutely. Okay, that's great. And, you know. I think what brings me out each time... Oh, sorry. It's okay. I think what brings me out each time is that there's no amount of money... <clears throat> excuse me. There's no amount of money that um, would override the, the quality of life or the value of a human's life, particularly women and people of color. So I try to vote in the direction of humanity each time over money. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Thanks. Have, Have a, a good one. Day. Thank you. Why you're here voting today? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what brings you out and why is it important? Uh, so I'm coming out because I'm a proud union member and there's a lot of great um, pro-labor candidates today. Um, so I'm coming out to vote for them and, you know, keep labor strong in Vermont. Um, 
could you tell us a little bit more about those candidates in particular? Sure. Um, so one person in particular, Taylor Small, a local Winooski resident, is really kind of here for us. Um, and both she and Daisy, who's also representing Winooski, um, you know, they're in favor of just cause eviction, which is like a first step that we really need in order to have the working class be able to stay in Vermont. Um, and then you got Lieutenant Governor, um, oh my gosh, Zuckerman. Yeah, he's done a lot. He's he's really the reason why we have the minimum wage we have now in Vermont. Um, and he's just really stayed by working class Vermonters the whole time he's served Vermont. So. I was excited to cast my vote for him. That's great, thank you so much. And yeah. um, really quickly before you go, um, were there any particular ballot measures or constitutional amendments that had you <laughs> particularly particularly excited about um, coming out uh, and voting today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I wanted to vote yes on both of the, uh, the proposals. So uh, voting yes to have slavery outlawed in Vermont seemed incredibly important and overdue. Um, and then Article 22, um, the a reproductive liberty amendment that was like essential I did some like um, phone banking for that like that if again it's like a first step that we need in Vermont and uh, yeah I was happy to vote for it well thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us no and um, we, tell us why you came out to vote this morning and why it's important to you well I've been voting in the Winooski elections ever since I moved here and uh, it's important because uh, you gotta, you gotta vote. <laughs> Absolutely. And were there any particular um, candidates or uh, ballot items that you uh, really were excited to vote about? Mm, I would say yes, because I really wanted to vote for Daisy Berbeco. She's great, and I know her. And you can really get to know some of the candidates when you're in a small place. So I've got all my candidates lined up, and I know how I'm going to vote on all the issues. Yeah, it's pretty cut and dried. Gotcha. <laughs> well, hey, you know what you want, and I appreciate you speaking with us tonight, or today, taking the time to speak with us. You're welcome. And um, if you're interested, we're with Tommy. Yeah, I've got the log in, but I still have more I want to bring. Thank you. 
Do you have a minute to talk to us about why uh, you're here voting this morning and why it's important to you? Uh, sure. All right. Thank you so much. Of course. So, um, tell us, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm no like out of it. Um, why are you here voting today and why is it important to you? I mean, I think it's so important to just stay engaged in our community. I live in Winooski, I love Winooski and love Vermont and, um, and voting and being engaged and making sure you're um, staying on top of things and have a voice. It's how our democracy runs. It's important. Thank you so much. And were there any particular candidates that were on the ballot that um, really you felt supported um, what you believe in or you were excited to vote about or vote for? Yeah, absolutely. I'm always excited to get to vote for Taylor Small. Um, she's phenomenal and she does such a good job representing us. And I'm very excited to vote for Becca Balin because it is, um, I mean, just her platform is wonderful. She's a great leader. Very excited for Vermont to <laughs> join the rest of the country and send um, a woman to Congress. Thank you so much. And um, how about any particular ballot items? Um, there was prop, uh, Proposal 2 and Proposal 5 on the ballot, as well as um, the CSWD um, Materials Recovering Facility bond. Any particular ideas on those? Yeah, I mean, both of those ballots, I'm so glad to get an opportunity or um, options to vote for. Vote yes. <laughs> I voted yes. Um, just put, putting that out there. But I think it's so important to be able to again, codify rights, our right to um, bodily autonomy, our right to freedom. I think both of those are really important. So I was glad to have them both, both there. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Um, yeah. We are with Town Meeting TV and we do a live results show. At oh, so I don't know if that's uh, well, that's totally yeah. fine. You're, you're a Vermonter? I you, sure am. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Right Fantastic. So, uh, Talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Tell us a little bit. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about your background as a, yeah. um, but also why you're here voting today and why it's important. Great. So I'm Deanna Gonzalez. I'm former state representative for Winooski and voting is just key. Um, it's fundamental to our ability to function as a democracy. And so I was working the polls and um, getting to vote and uh, it's, it's really wonderful that we have a same day voter registration and we have really great access here in Vermont to voting. And so I hope as many people as possible take advantage of that. So um, how has the turnout been today while well, you've been here so far? You know, I actually didn't count. Usually I, uh, I check the counter and see, um, but it's it's steady flow and, um, and really great. And so um, it's nice to, to see all the people coming in and, um, and voting. That's fantastic. And were there any particular um, measures on the ballot that um, you think people were really looking at this time around or yourself in particular? Um, I mean, the fun thing about um, being a poll worker is that I don't ask about why people are here. Um, I just hand them the ballot and then they get to do the democratic thing of voting. For me personally, um, I'm very excited about our constitutional amendments about banning slavery and reproductive choice. Uh, so those are, are very, very fundamental to our rights and I'm really excited for those. The, having a bond measure to uh, modernize our recycling facility is also really key and, um, and really important for the health of Vermont and the health of our planet and making a lot easier for Vermonters to do what we want to be doing. Thank you so much and uh, really quickly, um, any candidates that really stuck out to you personally? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm very excited about Sarah George. That, um, uh, she's been really wonderful so far and, and really excited about um, her continuing. Um, Becca Balance is a, a huge, I'm a huge fan, um, so I'm really glad um, that I got to vote for her today. And Taylor Small is also a, a favorite of mine. So other folks as well, but those are some highlights. Thank you so much. And before we let you go, I'm just really curious to hear a little bit more about um, poll, working the polls. Oh, yeah. Um, and just like what it's like and like, and it's, is it something that anybody can do? They'd like um, you know, I actually don't know if anybody can do it. Um, that's, a, that's a good question. So I'm um, I'm on the um, uh, elections board, so I am uh, just for the peace, and so um, part of that um, volunteer to, to work the polls. And um, but our amazing um, town clerk and any of the town clerks um, can be talked to about working the polls and what that process is for for folks. Um, but it's just really great. It's just it's it's very logistics. What's your name? Let me check you in. Here's here's your ballot. Here's where you go. Um, uh, so if you like greeting people and if you like helping people to um, facilitate their uh, constitutional right to, to vote, it's a, a it's a good way to spend a few hours. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. That was amazing. Hey there. Do you have a minute to talk to us about uh, why you voted? No, thank you. No worries, you have a good one. Just to talk to people about voting today and uh, why it's important and uh, kind of what, what, I, the, what I brought people I wish I could. I have a meeting in three minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a good one. Good. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a moment to talk to us about uh, why you came out to vote today and why it's important for you? 
Um, yeah, because I think it's very scary that over 200 Republicans are pretending that we didn't have a legitimate election. And I believe in democracy. Great. Could you and maybe could you tell us a little bit about um, some of the candidates that um, were on the ballot today that you um, that support your position? Peter Welch, Becca Ballant. Um, those are the two that I think of first and foremost. And were there any particular ballot items that um, you were really looking forward to vote on in uh, this year's election? Um, yes, ending slavery and giving women the right to choose about their bodies. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you speaking with us. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.